accurate local forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain starts now. We'll check out this live look from Harrisburg this morning. I mean, beautiful view of the Capitol. The sky is orange and in and, and yellow as the sun rises, and it's just been a kind of a very pretty start to the day. Temperature wise, though, maybe not as nice and not as comfortable. 41 degrees in Harrisburg, 35 in Lebanon. 35 in Chambersburg, 36 in McConnellsburg, and 37 in York. As we get through the course of the rest of the day, we're not really going to warm nearly as much, but I'll touch on that in a second. Winds, thankfully, a lot calmer than they were yesterday. Yesterday, we were blowing at about 20 miles per hour. Now, 0 to 5 is what we're seeing at the moment, and we expect that trend for the most part to continue through the day. Not a whole lot going on nationally, which is a good thing, and we don't have any big cold fronts. A lot of high pressure, which will help us out in the coming days, just not necessarily for today when we're going to see a lot of cloud cover, mostly cloudy skies throughout your afternoon. We only hit the mid 50s um, during the day Sunday, so not really the best of weather, uh, about 10 degrees cooler. So on Friday we were in the mid 50s. Saturday, we were in the mid to upper 60s, and then Sunday today, we're in the mid 50s, so just going up and down, and you're going to see a little bit more of that heading into this week, mid 60s by that Tuesday, then we get back down into the 50s on Thursday, and we rebound heading into the weekend. That has everything to do with the fact that we have another cold front moving in on Wednesday. If that front weren't there, I imagine we'd continue to warm, but we do have a front coming through. That's going to cool things down just a little bit. Notice these aren't big cold fronts. These are cold fronts that are bringing you know, a nice little shot of cooler air that drops things down just a little bit and then they warm up a few degrees within the next day or so. So not anything crazy. It does bring a small rain chance, some showers potential uh, on Wednesday, and then we clear out the bigger rain chance that's coming up on Saturday. So we're watching both of these with a keen eye, but we're really honing in on that Saturday. We're going to see how things shape out there and we'll get you a better update for what to expect as we get through uh, the next several days this week. Overall for the week, I would say uh, pretty uh, seasonable for this time of year, a pretty average, uh, below average at times, uh, but very, very comfortable. I would say the weather's getting better and better outside here in the mid state, something to look forward to. And uh, Kale, I'm looking forward to those days that were in the 70s, but uh, I'll take the 60s. Not so bad. You'll take the 60s too. So are you more of a warm weather or or mild? Because I know you love well, to ski. Well, look, I'm a cold weather guy, but yeah. if I'm going to have my temperatures and spring temperatures, I want it to be in the 70s and 80s. All this, right, I'm with you there. That weather's very nice. I just wish it would stay there. Like it would just stop. Stick. Don't get us into the 90s. Stay in the 70s forever. See, I could. You got to move to Alaska if you want weather like that, I guess. But you know. Yeah, I could. I could go up to 90s. I'm maybe not 100. But like one day, okay, one day. You'll, you'll take one. Just so I can like jump in the pool or something like that. Okay. You, know? you need 90 degrees to jump you, in the pool. Well, I'm. Gosh, I'm not going to jump when it's 80. <laughs> it's okay. You know. I would. I would. Okay. And I would even do All the right. penguin plunge. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Straight ahead on 27 Daybreak Sunday morning.